you can control the information that can go into any field in the report by using a feature of Microsoft Office called data validation. We're working in Excel Pro Legacy version 9.1 and uh, on a PC with Windows XP and Microsoft Office 2003. The data validation works the same in Windows Vista and in Office 2007, but your screens may look a little bit different and the locations of some of the menu selections will be different in Office 2007, but functionally they are identical. You'll see at the top of our screen we have a selection labeled data. We'll click on data, come down to validation. Now we have three tabs. You'll see that presently under source we have it says equal foundation comments and I'll come back to that in a minute. That's a category in the library. We have our validation criteria in this drop down you'll see that we've selected list. In other words we're taking a list of comments out of the comments and descriptors library. For most uh, purposes you'll leave it set to list for most of your fields. You can change the fields if you want to restrict the information to say a date or time only. We don't need to worry about data. We don't need to worry about these where it says ignore blank incel drop down by default those will be checked for you. We'll go over to the second tab input message. This is just a prompter. You don't really need to do this. You could do this if you wanted to. This would be something to prompt you what, what's supposed to go into a particular field. The third tab is an important tab because this will prevent you from putting any data other than the type that you normally would put in a field. So if we check this, we have some options here stop or warning but if we wanted to prevent any type of data other than what we want being put in that field we'll, we would select stop put a message in the error message now if I come over here you'll see that we have the list is coming from foundation comments which in uh, legacy actually by default is an empty uh, field that's a user definable field so if I click OK and I try to type something into this comment, you'll see that my message that I had entered in under the error message, you cannot do that, popped up. It's titled No. That was the title I gave for the error message. I can say retry, but it's not going to let me put anything else in there if I try to put uh, anything other than what it's expecting. So to fix that, let me just demonstrate here that I can select something from the library. So as long as I'm selecting something from the list, or in this instance the library uh, category called Foundation Comments, it will allow that, but anything other than that it will not allow. I'll come back up here to data validation, go back to our error, uncheck error, come back to settings, we'll leave it on list, we'll say OK. Now I can type anything I want in that field or I can select from the list. If I wanted to reassign category uh, from the library to this field I could do that also. What I'll do is I'll come over here to our index, click on the library tab, you'll see that we have the comments on under one tab, the index under another, and here we have various comments, these are the categories,
I'll just grab a category here that we can uh, assign to that field. So if we take bathroom comments, you'll see that we have bathroom comments listed on the left, we have the equal sign, and then we have bath comment on the right. I'll then go back to our report, click on data, validation, instead of foundation comments, we will put bath comment in its place. We'll click OK. We'll come over to our drop down and you'll see now that we have comments from the bathroom comment category. You can use data validation to assign any category from the comments and descriptors library to any field in the report by using the data validation when you use data validation, be careful not to leave the error box checked or you will restrict the information that can go into that field, especially if it's set at stop. If it's set at stop, it will prevent you from putting that information in. If you have it set to alarm, it will alarm you, which would obviously be annoying to you if you're doing this on a regular basis. So remember to go to that third tab uncheck that error box unless you intend to restrict the information that can go into a field.